Jose, today I am going to discuss about uh, how to synchronize the domain user to Office 365, uh, which will be domain our domain user is on premises domain user to Microsoft Office 365. What is the purpose for what question will be arise? What is the purpose? Why do we need a uh, why do we need the on premises user to a Microsoft Office 365? Because the reason because we want uh, we want to uh, on premises user to use cloud services like Excel, Word, uh, yeah, Yard, Yard, Yandex, uh, and uh, Exchange Online, Exchange you know, Email Server, Email Server, and so there is so many add-on which is provided by Microsoft Office 365. It's upon to the user requirement we will uh, use that. So let's start. How can we uh, synchronize domain user at uh, on premises domain user to Microsoft Office 365? There is only a few steps which uh, we just need to uh, follow. Uh, it's not a very difficult task, but very easy. We, anyone can do that. So let's start. So I have here written here synchronization domain user to Microsoft Office 365. Set up Active Directory synchronization for Microsoft Office 365. Uh, so I am I am going, here. I am going to add use on premises Active Directory RDS and Office 365 for the AD Connect. I will use what um, service with what will be the software we will use for synchronizing the synchronization or put myself to uh, to office 3 we will use ad connect ad active directory connection so this session will be discussed about step how to synchronize active directory to office 365 so on premise we, we just uh, for this we need do uh, windows server we need active directory domain services so uh, so just uh, so let me start the steps so this is uh, my uh, uh, windows server active directory cloud user which we want to synchronize user office this is our own premises this is our own premises active directory and which we will going to use we will transfer our cloud user to of a Microsoft Office 365, which will be synchronized from our own premises to Office 365. So let's start. First, you need to log into your Office 365 subscription below link the as you aware about admin.microsoft.com is a an admin panel to managing services. So after you do you need to download download Microsoft Azure Active Directory Connect okay yeah, there is a link below you can download from here and you, as you aware about also this so once uh, download once you have download we just uh, need to installation start the installation so install Active Directory Active Directory connect to own premises Windows Server so what we will do we need to install uh, AD connect to the domain server, domain controller. Okay, on where is a uh, which uh, which domain controller you want to synchronize to Office 365 as Active Directory domain controller. Okay, domain service which we you can call we and we also call ADDS Active Directory domain services where which I am going to synchronize from our own premises to. Microsoft Office 365, the M 365 also known as a Microsoft Office 365. So this is my, uh, so as you can check, check over here, this is my name and here is the, the admin, uh, admin username. Now I am going to start and I am going to start installation for AD Connect to my domain, domain controller, uh, Active Directory Domain Controller. So uh, just started the uh, installation. So uh, once installation done, we will start the process. So here installation done. Done. We need to uh, click on Azure AD Connect and agree the license and continue the process. So here I am selecting uh, customize installation. Customize installation which you uh, which you need to describe every step over here but if you will go for express you just need to type username and password it will be auto correct so here i have selected customize so 
so no need to install required comp uh, so no need to install so i am hearing i need to install required components to uh, required components to connect ad connect so uh, ad connect synchronization which this uh, these are the prerequisite you can call it as a component or prerequisite uh, uh, to manage synchronization method so here i have uh, just need to click installation install you, you just need to click install installation started once installation is start you can check over here uh, specify the a custom installation location i have here specify the if you want to specify you can specify over here you can if you are already having sql server or you can use or otherwise make it default make it default if you will make it default it will automatic installation will be start in your uh, in domain controller you don't need if you want to change i here i didn't change anything so uh, so if you if the step after installation started i have selected password hash why because password has in uh, is a you can say the protector converting a password hash uh, password hash converting password into unreadable string so if someone want to hack your uh, email uh, they will not uh, they are having much issues because unreadable the string will be unreadable the uh, character will be unreadable okay to so this is the this is designed by microsoft has uh, impossible to convert in the uh, into possible to convert in text okay uh, this is the way uh, if you want to select this you can select and this is as in my in my session i have selected because as i thought it's protected and readable string okay so i have selected and clicks to next so here uh, as you can check over here connect to azure ad here is mentioned you need to type the admin subscription office 365 admin user so I have shared, uh, sh uh, type over here my name and my domain and password. Once you will uh, click over, once you will click to next, the pop-up will be open for required credential. Again, you need we need we need to again type the same credential which we want to, which is the uh, which is uh, your admin. Like in my senior, I am the admin, so I have added my email ID. And we uh, once we need, we need to verify, verify also, verify authentication. Okay, one well, click to next. Once uh, so uh, here I have my name number, so I have uh, I will get to verify your identity. So I have verify my identity over here. Select a uh, domain and click to add. Active directory. So uh, here, if you can check here, I am connecting to my own premises Active Directory ADDS. So here, you if you can check over here, my forest is QueryPanel.co. As you aware about the forest is a collection of tree, and tree is a collection of domain. You, as you aware about this, so uh, I have I am having only one forest. So I have selected a uh, click to add Active Directory. Now you need to enter own premises username and password. So here I have mentioned uh, this is the username querypanel.co and administrator and the password will be whatever you uh, is yours. Click OK. Once you will click OK, you will uh, so you can check over here. I am connected to my AD Active Directory is connected. So the next step you also here. If you you can check over you uh, UPN suffix no need to create UPN six but uh, so no need to create because I am not having a, any suffix suffix is used to suppose I am having local domain I want to create a new domain so which is connected which is a uh, uh, which is connected to the our office three sixty five so you can okay, uh, go to the the Active Directory domain and trust and add your services and uh, upn uh, user principal as you can as you are aware about user principal name upn in a macros of active directory a user principal name is a so username and domain in uh, in an email address format in a upn the username is followed by the separated at sign 
फ्लो बाय द एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी इंटरनेट डोमेन एंड एज एग्जांपल यू यूपीएन यूजर प्रिंसिपल नेम शब सपोज आई हैव सिलेक्टेड माय नेम ओके सो नाउ यू नीड टू गो टू सर्वर मैनेजर विंडोज सर्वर मैनेजर क्लिक एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी डोमेन ट्रस्ट वंस यू विल क्लिक एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी डोमेन सर्विस क्लिक एन एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी राइट क्लिक ऑन एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी डोमेन ट्रस्ट क्लिक गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज वंस यू विल गो टू प्रॉपर्टीज देयर विल बी यूपीएन सर्वर यूजर प्रिंसिपल यूजर प्रिंसिपल यू विल कम ऑन द यूजर प्रिंसिपल ओवर हेल यू कैन चेक ओवर हेल यूजर प्रिंसिपल नेम okay once you will go to once you will go to properties click add your domain which is connected to your microsoft office 365 as you can check over here i have this domain says are clean.info so just click add once you will click add uh, once you will click add you can check over here uh, after creating you can survey getting multiple domain option in your active directory so here here i am getting multiple domain option so here i have my two domain one is my local domain and second is my office 365 domain and uh, now you need to select domain services so i have uh, so one uh, here is a uh, one user i have selected to assign the office 365 suffix okay your upn suffix user principal name so as you can check here once okay and click if you can check here office 365 domain is verified if you can check over here in a higher mark over here here if you can check here srcleaning.info is verified so you pay uh, upn user uh, principal name is verified okay so verified by own pin myself okay click uh, you need to check over here click continue without matching all upn service verified domain once uh, once you will done this here you can check over here my uh, active directory domain services is connected so domain you can check over here, my domain directory is a query panel dot co synchronize so i need to synchronize only cloud user which i have uh, separated created in architect a created architecture for uh, only cloud user so you need to uh, synchronize selected domain and ou so organizational uh, as you know ou is a organizational unit so i have selected only, only office 365 user click uh, click next now you need to click next user identification click next so over here you need to click next user identification user click next optional feature you just a uh, click next optional feature whatever you want you can check over there so no need uh, click to install no so now click to install so once installation started you can check over here uh, over here azure is a connected configuration succeed so once configuration completed you can check your click to exit and click to exit and check the synchronization status as you can check over here in this screenshot configuration completed so my configuration i have succeed the configuration you can say i have succeed the con office 365 ad connect active directory connect uh, connect uh, ad connect to on premises on premises so i am connected you are now i am connected to my office 365 is connected to on premises and own pin message will synchronize which ou i have selected it will be synchronized with the office 365 user office 365 active directory because in as you aware about the office 365 also having default active directory and my own pin message active directory will be synchronized with uh, macro, uh, microsoft office 365 active directory as you can check over here uh, as you can check over here, i am i have opened So you can Microsoft Office 365 Admin Center. I will go to the. I will go to the. You can also go to the. Collect user active users uh, and uh, go to the. Uh, go to the U uh, users active direct. Click on active users and once you will open, click on active user. You will check over here. Synchronize. So my status is this. So you can check over here. Miss all my. all my uh, on pin my uh, user synchronize with the new union you pen uh, suffix 
this all my on pin mice as user this is the status in this is the status of office 365 okay so uh, you can uh, you can check uh, on your on pin message environment synchronization status thing uh, just play, uh, search on synchronization service manager on your own pin message you can check over over here uh, timing timing export timing and this will that uh, this all the detail uh, in uh, in uh, ad connect always uh, ad connect always synchronizes every 30 minutes whatever i have user created in own pin message it will be, it will take 30 minutes to synchronize to the office 365 and second scenario you can do for uh, forcefully you can also do uh, forcefully you can do that forcefully you can do that so here i am also explaining how to uh, how to forcefully i will schedule or i can schedule synchronization so open power cell open open power cell as an admin and type uh, in and type get dash ad synchronization scheduler just okay you can check over here every 30 minutes allow synchronization cycle interval every 30 minutes every 30 minutes it will schedule synchronization will be start and i so here i want to say start synchronization forcefully so just need to uh, type in uh, powershell start dash ad synchronization synchronization cycle policy policy type delta once you will type the this command the you can check over there over here result is succeed succeed so if i have done this step or oh, you can check over here i have synchronized between between uh, between only or uh, i have uh, 15 mean i have two time forced to synchronize my way uh, synchronize forcefully on premises i am forcefully doing forcefully doing to on premises to uh, office 365 so if once we will forcefully uh, this thing required once you will you you want to check uh, why my own premises user in not uh, synchronized to the office uh, 365 these are the easy and very simple step to synchronize uh, Microsoft Office 365 uh, in six, uh, this is the simple very and very simple step uh, to synchronize own premises user cloud uh, own premises user to Microsoft Office 365 if uh, guys if you have any kind of confusion about this uh, session uh, and uh, you can comment on this uh, blog site uh, my blog site is q u e r y p a n e l dot com query panel dot com and you can also uh, you can also comment on my youtube channel uh, you can check uh, my youtube channel channel is at it blogger bihari my youtube channel or you can also follow me on uh, facebook i'm also sharing uh, these all the details on facebook and linkedin uh, linkedin and uh, facebook linkedin and my own own personal blog so guys thanks for watching have a nice day